This is an introduction to the flipped classroom. First we start with some theory. Why do we flip? Well, we flip the classroom because we usually have a lecture, some practice, and then there's some homework. And when we ask people, what is a flipped classroom? One of my students said, oh, that's when you ask the students to teach part of the class. I thought that was clever. But what we're talking about is in class, traditionally, there's a lecture that the teacher gives. There's some practice in the class asking, well, what do you think about what I just spoke about? And then there's some homework at home. The new sort of flipped classroom is asking you, the student, to listen at home. And you have many chances to listen, whereas if it's in the classroom, you get one chance, or if you're absent, you sort of miss it. So then when you arrive at school, you can practice what you and ask questions about what the lecture was about. And then there can be actual homework done in class. By putting lectures on videos, we allow the students to watch the videos before class. If there's no internet, you can show the videos in the school on computers. If the teacher has no camera, we can certainly ask the students to shoot the videos. You want to show up to class ready to discuss the lecture. So we're going to go over tips, how to set up the YouTube account or whatever version we're taking, and then upload a video. Now the first thing I wanted to show was this is wrong. The lighting isn't set up right, right? It's got a little flash. So what should be done instead is change the lighting. You want to plan ahead. Don't video yourself writing. Edit the video to remove the slow spots. And then watch other people, such as Katie Gimber. She has an excellent explanation of how to do a flipped classroom. There's a course on how to set up a, um, a web page. That's where you're going to post your link after you. And that's what the upload page looks like. Once you're in your YouTube account, you click on upload, you see the little arrow, and you click to let it go in. So I hope that you will send me any questions and send your YouTube link so I can give you some feedback. I hope that this introduction to the flipped classroom will be helpful to you.